So I'm going to give you a close-up view here of this master plug extension cord reel. So I am also going to put this 50 foot 16 gauge extension cord. So just notice this is a 16 gauge and that will give you an idea how much this 50 foot will fit and whether your 100 foot will fit. Now from other reviews, the 100 foot does fit and it will be butted up more or less against the handle. Now just to give you an idea once again, let me go ahead and show you the a diameter of this is a little bit uh, over 8 inches uh, but it's not about the outer diameter it's about the inner diameter so other than the circuit breaker that's in here and the outlets so you can see that the outlets um, are on this side there is actually a smaller inner diameter here that allows you to fit more of the plug and the extension cord also, let me go ahead and give you a look here of the plugs. So keep in mind that uh, these do have, you know, safety locks. So I could, you know, cover all the outlets. It does have an overload circuit breaker here to reset. It has a light for the power button and an on-off switch. And so it is three-pronged, as you could see. Now the handle here rotates so this this is actually a nice subtle little feature you, you could see I, I don't have to move it with my hands be, because this particular little knob also rotates and you could see that the plug itself is all one piece so uh, this little piece is not just connected at the end it's connected all the way through so it, it, it's not going to break off is, is what I'm trying to convey here and there is the sort of like starter cable here where I am actually going to plug this into my three pronged here also. Uh, now just to go through the back, you can see the back here. And I did address before, um, you know, the gauges, uh, the, the gauge of the wire and the amp. So this is a 13 amp, 16 gauge wire as you can see. And this particular one is, it says it supports 10 amps, but in my experience, the I, I've used a 15 amp table saw on one of these. So if a table saw is about 15 amps, a circular saw is about 10 amps, um, the heat generated isn't to the dangerous level enough that this overheats and triggers these, these uh, safe, the circuit breaker. So I have used a, you know, 15 amp table saw on a 13 amp, extension cord on a 10 amp uh, cord reel. Um, now, I, I wouldn't recommend that for everybody, but uh, it, it was basically uh, you know safe for me, so um, I just wanted to mention that. Now, here there is a cord reel uh, where, where you could rest the head of the cord here, and I'll show you that a little bit later. Uh, the plastic is very, it, it, it's a little bit flexible as you could see. But it's also very stiff, so it's high quality plastic, it's not cheap. I, I would say the build itself is not cheap. It, it is very sturdy, is, is uh, what I'm trying to say here. Um, you know, just to give you, you know, one complete look around. This is uh, soft, rubbery stuff, but it is not sticky, or it doesn't look like it will melt or be, you know, very silicone-ish. Um, so it, it will not be the type that's going to be sticky is what I'm trying to say. Uh, this piece is enamel metal and you can see the rotation device and you know, at the bottom here, let's give you a look, there is a little hook for you to hook the last foot or inches of the cord after you have used it so that is a nice little feature you know not just to have the cord being loose and once again just giving you a look there um, and let me go ahead now and uh, reel in this cord so the first thing I'm going to do of course is connect it and so you know, that's going to start it out. And you, you can see here, now I don't have the st stability. So I'm going to show you the after. You know, but right now I just want to show you, you know, starting out. 
you know, so, some of the... And if I wasn't doing this on camera, it'd be a lot easier for me, obviously. But, but you can see, now that I'm rotating it, uh, it's fairly, fairly easy. And let me just spread this out and uh, show you the end state now. Trickier with trying to film this than, than, than it actually is. Uh, if, if I wasn't filming it. So let me go ahead and try to do this on camera in real time. Give you a sense. Foot cord finally wrapped around this. And you could see I hooked the cord up in this cable holder. So this is a nice handy element to this. And also resting this up right here. So that's what this particular thing is for. Now, now you notice here that, um, you know, this is pretty filled up. Let, let me give you different angles just so you could get different perspectives. Now it probably fits a 75 foot cord. Um, but as you can see, it is nearly maxed out. So this is probably perfect for a 50, 60 foot cord. The 75 foot cord is probably pushing it for 16 gauges. And also if you were gonna try a 100 foot cord, it would be stretching it a little bit. Um, now just giving you, just going around again, just to give you a look of how it actually is with, with the entire cord wrapped around. And so, but uh, there you go. This is the master plug cord reel. And I'll have this in the description area of the video. And I hope this helps. And please subscribe. And thank you for watching.